The Battle of Mount Algidus was fought in 458 BC, between the Roman Republic and the Equi, near Mount Algidus in Latium. The Roman dictator Lucius Quinctius Cincinnatus turned an expected Roman defeat into an important victory. Chapter 1 Background The government of Rome was already shared between the original Romans, the Latin and Sabine peoples. For example, the Quinctia Gens, who had a major influence on Roman public life during this time, were of Latin origin. The Hernesi were allied to Rome, the Etruscans were not impinging on the Romans, even though the Etruscan town of Vey was close to Rome. The greatest enemies of Rome at this time were the Volsci and the Equi. The Volsci were based in territory to the southeast of Rome, while the Equi were based to the east. The Equi kept attacking Rome and its surroundings, either alone or with allies. In particular, the Equi moved from the Apennine Mountains towards Tusculum. Their attacks disturbed trade and commercial communications along the Via Latina, as well as throughout Roman territory. The situation at Rome in this time was disturbing. There were conflicts between the Roman patricians and plebeians. There was also a revolt by the slaves of Rome. During the revolt, the capital was held by the slaves for a lengthy period, along with the most important temples of Rome. It was during this revolt that Consul Publius Valerius Paplicola had died. The revolt ended only with the arrival of an army from Tusculum, led by the Tusculan dictator Lucius Mamilius. Meanwhile, Cincinnatus was appointed consul to replace Publicola. In 459 BC, the Equi occupied Tusculum. In response to the threat, the Romans decided to send an army to help the allied city, under the command of the consul Lucius Cornelius Maluginensis. In addition, the consul Quintus Fabius Vibulanus, who was at that point besieging Ontium, moved his forces to attack Tusculum. In the end, the Tusculans were able to recapture their city, with Vibulanus killing many Equi near Mount Algidus. A truce was then arranged with the Equi. The following year, 458 BC, the Equi broke the truce. They attacked Tusculum again, and camped near Algidus, at the same time, a Sabine army moved against Rome. Two Roman armies were formed in haste, the consul Gaius Nautius Rutilus planned to move against the Equian territories, while his colleague, Lucius Minucius Esquilinus Augurinus, planned to move against the Equi camped near the mountain. Minucius did not attack the Equi, who by nightfall had started to build a fortification all around the Roman camp. Since Nautius did not know how to handle the situation, Cincinnatus, whose brief term as consul had ended, was nominated dictator. Chapter 2 Battle. Cincinnatus chose his magister equitum, and levied every available Roman in the campus Martius, requiring them to bring food for five days, along with twelve valley. The vallus was the pole brought by each Roman soldier. Valley were used to build a protective wall around the camp, a requirement of twelve valley instead of one was unusual. The Roman army arrived at Mount Algidus by nightfall. Cincinnatus signaled to the besieged Romans that he had arrived, then ordered his men to build a wall all around the Equi. The Equi attacked Cincinnatus, but they were soon obliged to turn and face the Romans under Minucius, who had left their camp to aid their countrymen. At dawn, the wall around the Equi was completed, Cincinnatus ordered his men, who had marched and worked for a whole day without rest, to attack the Equi within the wall. The Equi, unable to sustain a double attack, surrendered. Cincinnatus let all but the leaders of the Equi go. Chapter 3, Aftermath The spoils from the sack of the Equian camp were distributed among Cincinnatus' men, while the Romans who had fought under Minucius were poorly regarded, and Minucius himself was obliged to resign the consulship. The Equian leaders were brought to Rome as prisoners, where Clelius Gracchus, the Equian commander, was paraded in Cincinnatus' triumphal procession. Cincinnatus resigned the dictatorship, having held it for just sixteen days. Lucius Mamilius, the Tusculan commander, was rewarded with Roman citizenship.